So because I'm always late to the game, you've probably heard the news by now, but just in case... Yep, a studio has finally gone and done what I and probably others have been assuming was gonna happen for some time here. The Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot have doubled down on streaming and poured one out for theaters. True, Disney did reorganize to focus on streaming recently, but who knows what that means, and they haven't announced a massive list of films they plan to stream simultaneously with theatrical releases. Though, if a list like that hasn't been announced before Christmas, uh, it'll happen once the numbers are in for Wonder Woman, if they're good. I find two things in all of this quite interesting. Uh, one, Warner Bros. was the studio all gung-ho to get people back in theaters a few months back with Tenant, which went okay, but not great, and now here we are. That's interesting, to me. Th that is interesting, right? Am I interesting? Please say I'm interesting. Comment below how interesting I am. The other thing I find interesting here actually is interesting. Uh, I swear. I promise you. I, I really do. Uh, so the Supreme Court... No, no, don't, 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 don't go, don't go. I, I, please don't go. No, 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 no. I, I swear this is cool. So like 70 years ago, the Supreme Court ruled studios cannot own movie theaters. I mean, it was a bit more complicated than that and... You know, a bunch of legalese questions, you know, whether or not it was applicable to all studios or just some studios. But the simple version of it was, studios owning theaters became a bad. And as of August of this year, that has been overturned. So in a year and some change, once a sunset period has ended, movie studios can once again own movie theaters. Now, I'm not trying to put forward any, like, corporate conspiracy theories right now, and there's no need to get out the tinfoil hats, but... If Disney did cut AMC out of the equation and no longer had to split the money from each ticket sold, Disney would get everything. Instead of the current system where studios get less of each ticket sold the longer a movie is in theaters. Not to mention all that golden popcorn cash, which in 2019 was around 400 million for just AMC. Imagine a world where Disney had complete control over production and distribution of all of their films. There would probably be a Disney Plus package you could sign up for for like 30 to $40 a month that would let you see a couple of movies at your local Disney theater. In this day and age, that doesn't sound too crazy, does it? But here's the dark side of it all. In a small town with only one theater, what single studio theater does that small town get? Is it Disney? Warner Brothers? Paramount? Universal? Sony? Blumhouse? A24? I would totally live in a small town that only had an A24 theater. <laughs> now, is any of that gonna happen? Yeah, hell if I know. But this is what I do know. People want movies. And other people want to make money off the people that want movies. So movies will survive. In theaters? Well, so far they've survived the advents of TV, home video, video rental, internet piracy, Netflix, YouTube, and then... Netflix streaming. And where we are currently at the height of the streaming age, 2015 to 2019 each saw a domestic yearly box office pull of about $11 billion. In fact, with the exception of Avatar and Titanic, the top 10 highest grossing movies of all time are all from the last 10 years. In fact, if you take out the two Cameron flicks, the top five grocers are all from the last five years. And without COVID, 2020 would have probably been about the same. So when the future of film distribution is brought up and the discussion turns to can theaters as we know them survive, I don't think the question should be, is this the end of theaters? No, 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 no. I, I think the question should be, what will theatrical distribution become? and who will be the owner of those theaters.